right, so here we are today. This is a training video on how to use the vacuum seed plate. Uh, first, what you want to do is get uh, pelleted seed. This only works with pelleted seed, which looks like that. It has the little clay, the seed with the clay around it. Um, first, what we're going to do is then uh, dump you know, a couple hundred seeds on there. On this vacuum plate, there's one side that has a, a lip and one side that doesn't. Um, so what we're going to do is, so that lip is where all the seeds kind of stay back in there. We're going to hook our vacuum up and also always put the lip on um, the far side from you. Mm -hmm. So, um, and this, this vacuum table has two little doors. Um, you're going to want to have the one door closed on the left side and this one door over here open on the right side. And then we're going to hook up our vacuum cleaner and it's going to get loud. So I'm going to turn the vacuum cleaner on and then I'm going to shuffle these seats like this and it's going to vacuum it down into these holes. So watch this. <laughs> As I was doing that, the door hit that ledge, closed, and it lost the vacuum. Gotcha. So now I have to make a new video. Yep. Alright, we're ready to continue. Alright, so now that we've got all of our seeds backing down, we're then going to carefully flip this over onto the rock hole seat. Don't let that door close and you'll drop your seat. So, Once you do that, kind of get your fingers in here, make sure that you're nice and centered. And then now that we're nice and centered, we're going to close this door. It's hard to hit it right here. And you'll be able to see the seeds dropping out. One, two, three. And there they go, they just drop. So now you can turn your vacuum off. Be careful flipping this back over because there are seeds all in this lip. So you just kind of flip it up over like this. And at this point, you can unhook that, and then you can set this uh, over here on that thing. And so, as you can see here, it does a pretty good job of dropping the seeds where they need to be. Um, you kind of need to come in here and, you know, push them down a little bit occasionally. Um, but we're 90% we're, we're there. We just planted 200 seeds in a matter of a minute. So then we are going to bring this over here. We're going to drop it into the tray that's already full of water. Um, it's probably, I would say, this is about three quarters of the way full. You just want to be very careful to not knock the seeds out. And so, do that. And then you'll start seeing the water kind of wick up through the, the rock wool. Um, and you can kind of spread it around a little bit. Um, now that we've done that, the next thing we do is grab some of this uh, vermiculite. And it's typically about two handfuls or so per. I'm going to grab a handful there and a handful there. And you just spread it around, cover the seeds up. It helps um, retain moisture and it helps with the uh, germination. Um, after that, Make sure everything's labeled so we know what they are. Uh, and in about two days, you'll see them start popping up. And in about five to seven days, they're pretty much ready to plant in those towers. Um, it, it all depends on temperature right now. We've got a, a pretty warm temperature in here, 86 degrees. We planted some mustard greens yesterday. And was that yesterday or two days ago? And they're already sprouting. So it's about two days of sprouts. 
And that concludes our video on planting.